Hello everyone, Kales here, and welcome to another old school RuneScape video. Today, the Medium Lumbridge Diary. For this set of tasks, you can expect to visit these locations. Feel free to pause if you would like to screenshot this map. For the level requirements, you need 20 Agility, 38 Crafting, 30 Fishing, 42 Hunter, 31 Magic, 50 Ranged, 23 Runecrafting, 19 Strength, 30 Thieving, and 36 wood cutting. For the item requirements, you need any crossbow and a myth grapple, 75 steel arrows and around 1000 coins, a dremen or lunar staff, some earth runes along with one law and three air runes, a fly fishing rod, some feathers, leather, needle, a thread, any axe, a butterfly net and an impling jar, a fire and earth talisman, and finally two pure essence. For the quest requirements, you need to have completed Animal Magnetism. You will also need partial completion of Fairy Tale Part 2. Remember to bring some method of transportation to make this slightly faster. So once you have everything ready, let's jump into the tasks. Just like the previous diary, we are going to start this one in Alcarid, and we are going to enter the Fire Temple, Fire Ruins, whatever you want to call it, and we are going to craft a Lava Rune with all of the items that I have listed in the previous screen. Next, we are going to, well, do a little bit more agility, and we are going to complete a, a rooftop agility course here in Alcarid. As you can see, this one is, well, slightly longer, but obviously if you have, what is it, like maybe 20 agility, it is going to be, well, maybe not that great experience per hour, obviously, like uh, any training method. I don't even know where I'm going with this one. Anyway, when we complete the uh, little lap, we are going to grapple across a river Lum, or Lum, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, and with your myth grapple as well as any crossbow, let's go ahead and click this little rock and it is going to automatically travel all the way west. Once you are here, let's go to Lumbridge, of course, and we are going to cast the teleport spell, not with uh, any teleport tab or anything, and that is going to be the end of this task. Fairly easy. For this next one, we are going to catch some salmon in uh, in the you know river here between Lumbridge Castle and uh, you know this little goblin area. Go ahead and click any spot to just uh, go ahead and lure it, and that is going to be the end of this task. Next, we are going to go slightly north inside the cow pen, and we are going to use our needle with uh, some leather, and we are going to craft a koi in order uh, koi <laughs> a coif in order to complete this very easy task. Now for the next one, let's go ahead and go to the Wizard's Tower. You just need to input the code DIS, and once you are here, run north and then west, where we are going to go to Drainer Village, you know, slightly south of the bank. This place should be very iconic. Just go ahead and cut one willow, and that is going to be pretty much it. Next, go ahead and run slightly north, and we are going to pickpocket the Master Farmer, but it is going to be Martin. Remember that it is the dude with the farming cave, if you pickpocket the other one, I don't think it is going to do the trick. For this next one, we are going to purchase any upgraded device from Ava or Ava, however you would like to pronounce that name. And for this one, it is where we need animal magnetism, and it is just recommended that you get the Ava's, uh, what is it, accumulator, which is going to be the higher tier one. I don't think uh, anyone doing the medium tier would be getting an Ava's assembler, <laughs> but if you do, that's, uh, yeah, maybe you don't like to do a lot of diaries. For the next one, we are going to get a Slayer Tosk. Uh, <laughs> we're going to do a Slayer Task from what I believe is Chalder or Calder. Uh, you guys know my pronunciation with RuneScape, not exactly great. Um, like I said, I have a Hydra Task at the moment, and well, you just don't need to get one. And finally, we are going to go northwest in the circle, crops, whatever, and go ahead to um, either catch an Essers, uh, Essers? <laughs> an Essence or an Eclectic Implant to finish the medium set of tasks. So, let's go ahead and see what the rewards have to give, this, uh, <laughs> give us for this, um, you know, part of the diary. Man, I really need to stop rambling for the outros. Once done, go to the NPC named Hadius Cassantius, just outside of the Lumbridge Castle grounds. You will obtain the Explorer's Ring 2, which provides three daily teleports to the Cabbage Field north of Port Serum. You will also obtain a lamp worth 7500 experience, and finally, all of these other benefits shown on screen. And that's pretty much it! If this video was useful in any way, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more guides. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you soon!